Guys, when I said I wanted more Hasbro Hotel, this is not what I meant. All right, boys and girls, it's your boy Corin back with another video, and um, I have some interesting news to say the least. So I think by now you're all familiar, or at least have heard of the show Hasbro Hotel, and if you haven't, where the hell have you been? But okay, okay, for the people who need a reminder, way back in 2020, Hasbro Hotel was the biggest series and basically the face of indie animation. The pilot skyrocketed on YouTube and got millions and millions of views, and also grew a crazy fan base overnight. I remember watching the pilot my freshman year of college and thinking, yeah, I see a whole lot of potential in this. And like I rarely am, I wasn't wrong about that because only a couple years later, the show would air after being picked up by Amazon Prime and it was going to become one of the biggest animated shows of this year. And when I say big, I mean big. When season one of this show was airing, it was everywhere. It was trending on Twitter, it was all over TikTok. Fans were showing up in cosplays to conventions, and there were tons of YouTubers like Danny Mata that nearly doubled their subscriber counts by reacting to the show. I say all this to say that Hasbro Hotel was successful to put it lightly. I think any artist passionate about making their own series would be ecstatic just to get a third of the success that season 1 got. So it was really no surprise when it was announced that Amazon Prime would be renewing Hasbro Hotel for a second season. But what was a surprise though was before season 2 even released they had already renewed it for a season 3 and and four, which, hey man, props to Vizzy Pop, I guess. Now, do me a favor, close your eyes. I want you to imagine you're an artist. You've spent years working on creating these characters, the designs, this world, this whole concept for a show. You then not only successfully fun a pilot for this series, but then also get it picked up by one of the biggest companies in the entire world. Then, not only do you going to have a good first season, but a great first season, so much to the point where the company that picked up your show goes on to renew you for three more seasons. You'd probably feel pretty happy pretty successful and pretty good about yourself and if that's the conclusion you came to i would completely agree until last night because last night i was messing around working on a completely different youtube video and then i just picked up my phone to take a little break and hop on twitter only for me to open the app and see that my timeline was on fire with people freaking out mind you i am a has-been hotel fan but i am never on has-been hotel twitter i am never on that side of the internet i just make a couple youtube videos about the series every once in a while but i look at my timeline and i see these fans saying report the leaks and that allegedly somebody had leaked a couple scenes from season two of has-been hotel now I didn't really know what they were talking about because I hadn't seen anything on Twitter so I decided to open up my TikTok and check it out. And when I tell y'all quite literally the first thing I seen when I opened the app was a storyboard animation of a song scene between Alistair and Rosie. Now at first I'm thinking this is fan made because let's be real we live in a different time with a lot of talented artists and animators that love to make fan animations so I'm thinking that's what this is at first. That is until I realized wait these are the singing voices of the original voice actors and then I immediately realized that this is a real studio animation it's just not colored in now obviously I'm not going to show y'all the animation because even though we haven't got an official announcement saying that these are official leaks I am 95% sure that this animation was created by a24 studios and is owned by Amazon Prime so I am not trying to get sued but I will say if your curiosity is killing you and you just have to see it it is still currently on TikTok, Twitter and YouTube and I also want to warn you that if you choose to go watch and listen to this animation it gives away probably one of the biggest spoilers of season two and answers one of the most asked questions in season one now after this animation came out i made a quick little tiktok about it i posted it on youtube tiktok instagram all that by the way you should definitely go follow me on all those platforms but after i made that video and uploaded it they still had some has been hotel fans freaking out but i was kind of over the situation at that point so i just went to sleep i figured even though the animation had a pretty big spoiler most people would be over it by the morning and nobody would really care anymore well I was completely wrong because when I woke up this morning I checked my phone only to see one of the biggest forest fires on social media that I have ever seen because not only did the Alistair and Rosie scene get leaked there were a ton of other scenes from season 2 that were just out and openly available to watch now and you might be asking yourself well Corin how many scenes got leaked two three four <laughs> try over 18 like i was genuinely stunned when i hopped on tiktok to see that they have over two hours worth of has been hotel season two content just available to watch and the first thing i thought was man somebody's getting fired 
Because let's be real for a second, how does this even happen? Like I saw a couple people saying, well, maybe they did this for promotion to promote season two, but honestly, that just doesn't make sense at all. Like I said earlier, Hasbin Hotel was one of the biggest animated series to drop in the last five years. The pilot on YouTube currently sits at over 100 million views. And look, did season one have its problems? Yes, there were writing issues from episode one to the finale. Were there a lot of wasted pop points? Of course. <laughs> Vaggy. But at the end of the day, the reception around Hasbin Hotel Season 1 was still really positive. There's no way it would have got renewed for three more seasons if it wasn't. And Season 2 has been highly anticipated since it was first announced. So there is quite literally no world where they would have had to leak part of the show to get people interested in it or to build hype for it. And another reason why I think there's absolutely no way that this content was purposely leaked is the amount of content that was leaked. Because okay, yes, leaking a product to get the public's opinion is a real strategy strategy that people use. This is something that's done a lot more in things like the music industry. If an artist wants to test a new sound or see if their fans will like a song but they're a little worried about it, then they'll leak it into the public and if their fans give it a positive reception, then they'll officially release it. Now the only time that I can remember this happening and working in the film world was with the Deadpool movies. Because yes, even though Deadpool's a big Marvel franchise now, at one point in time they weren't going to make any Deadpool movies. Marvel had did a two minute test trailer for Deadpool but ultimately Fox had rejected it because they weren't gun ho on making an R-rated superhero movie. That was until Ryan Reynolds had leaked the footage online and everybody went crazy for it begging for a Deadpool movie. Which is honestly probably the perfect origin story for a Deadpool movie. But other than that, I can't really think of any time where footage was leaked in the film world for a good reason. Not to mention, the amount of scenes being leaked for Hasbin Hotel is crazy. Like most people, if they're gonna leak something, it's between a couple seconds to two minutes at the most. There is literally a 9 minute courtroom scene floating around on the internet. And even though I haven't seen it, I keep seeing a couple people say that all of episode 2 is leaked online. And just like the Alistair and Rosie animation, these are big scenes like big plot points, big spoilers, big moments. Now there's been two different types of fans during these leaks. There's the fans that don't really care about spoilers and are just hyped for season 2 which is honestly the group that I fit in the most. Then there's the people that are still excited for season 2 but are really annoyed about the spoilers spoilers which honestly I can understand. But then I'm starting to see a third group of fans where a bunch of people are saying that these spoilers ruined season 2 for them and that they're just not even gonna bother to watch it which is honestly insane to me. Like if you're just one of those people that don't like spoilers I get that completely understandable if you want to experience a story in a certain way but I have quite literally never understood the concept of you being a fan of the series. You've been patiently waiting to get more content from the series. You're about to get more content from the series and because you get spoiled on information you don't want to watch it anymore like that is crazy to me i've also seen a couple people say that they don't feel bad for the husband hotel team because they don't like busy pop which is honestly a horrible garbage take to me like i can understand if you don't like busy pop she has a controversial history with the internet which honestly i might make a video about that someday but i think people need to realize when you hit the level that has been hotels at it's not a one person job anymore there are hundreds of people who are working hard to put these projects out for us. From the voice actors, to the artists, to the animators, to the sound production team, to the marketers. Like these are people's jobs, this is how they get paid, this is how they get to take care of their families. So to have people come online and celebrate that their work is being jeopardized is honestly just trash to me. And also if you don't like Vizzy Pop so much, why are you even watching the show? Like that is crazy to me, you don't like the person but you're gonna support their show? That literally doesn't even make sense. But the last thing I want to say regarding this is that leaks and leak culture have become one of the worst things ever in media. Because even though I said earlier I can't think of too many projects where their content was purposely leaked for advertising, that doesn't mean shows aren't getting leaked all the time. From scripts to scenes to release dates, it seems like the more and more we get into this internet age, the more and more common leaks are becoming. And while a lot of people in the general public don't see it as a big thing, like I said earlier, these are people's jobs, like a lot of people depend on these shows performing well to actually make money and having content put out when it's not supposed to can jeopardize that drastically it wasn't too long ago that netflix had a huge animation leak where a bunch of their projects like arcane and re-zero had a ton of scenes leaked which is so annoying because nine times out of ten this doesn't make the show come out quicker the networks usually push the show back 
so now we have to wait even longer because somebody couldn't wait to the original release date and honestly i just hope leaks and leak culture just dies out because honestly there's really no benefit to it it doesn't benefit the people working on the show it doesn't benefit the show and it doesn't benefit the people waiting for the show to come out but let me know in the comments how y'all feel about the has been hotel leak situation were you able to avoid the leaks or did you get spoiled i love each and every one of y'all for checking out another video and until then it's been your boy corin and i'm off this